All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep midlife music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. You know, I told you guys um, this morning that this type of stuff was going to happen. And this was going on. Um, I'm going to start this video by saying I'm not I'm not going to go as deep in as I, I, I am going to go on the podcast about this. And about this individual, but I'm going to let you guys know what happened. And I'm 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 telling everybody. I think that everybody needs to uh, basically call uh, Fox Sports and demand that uh, Doug Gottlieb be fired immediately. Um, I think that everybody needs to call Fox Sports and demand that Doug Gottlieb be fired immediately. Uh, so if you guys don't know, who don't know who Doug Gottlieb is, Doug Gottlieb is a guy who throws stones when he lives in a glass house, right? Now, um, a sin is a sin, right? And this is the reason why. I'm going to tell y'all something because it's going to get real deep. This O.J. Simpson stuff getting real deep already. Uh, this is the reason why people don't believe in the justice system. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Because you can go through the justice system. Their verdict comes out. People don't like the verdict. And they still disrespect or they don't respect the verdict and the system that they help create in order to try and put dudes on trial. And, 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 and I'm going to tell y'all something, man. O.J. Simpson went through the legal justice system in the situation with Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman. He went through the legal justice system, and he was found not guilty in the court of law. Regardless of what you think Doug Gottlieb personally, O.J. Simpson was found not guilty for those crimes in a court of law. Regardless of what you think. He went through the American justice legal system and was found not guilty in the court of law. Right? Doug Gottlieb goes on his show and he should be fired immediately. And he says the most vile, disgusting thing. And if I was the O.J. Simpson family, I'd sue him for slander. Right? And I'm going to tell you guys something. For you, Doug Gottlieb, to be one who said this stuff, man. You, sir, have sinned. Admittingly, you have sinned. But you know the difference between guys like you? And guys like O.J. Simpson, Doug Gottlieb, O.J. Simpson went through the legal justice system in that case and was found not guilty in the criminal justice system for those two crimes to Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman. You, sir, admitted that you were a kleptomaniac and a thief. You admitted that you stole from your people, even though you was rich and you had everything you wanted, you still stole. You admitted that out your own mouth. And then you came back and said that you don't even think it's hurt you in your career. And it didn't. You know why? Because you had a privilege that you don't afford other people who actually went through the criminal justice system and was found not guilty. See, you, sir, can steal, be a kleptomaniac, as you said you were. You could be in the L.A. Times back on September the 13th, 1996, from a felony theft of stealing from your, your classmates and your roommates, stealing credit cards, purchasing items for yourself, 
When your family had money, you had no reason to steal. And you still had your basketball program try to cover it up for you, allegedly. But it got too far. It got the, 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 new, the news got out. And that's how you got exposed to everybody. Because they were going to try to keep it on the low, kick you off the team, and let you transfer in peace. You, sir, Doug Gottlieb, a former Notre Dame and Tustin high school basketball player, has been charged with a felony theft for allegedly, no, no, for using stolen cards, credit cards, to purchase nearly $1,000 of merchandise. You said yourself that you bought sneakers, tennis shoes, all this stuff. You admitted that yourself that you stole. You admitted that you stole more than that. You admitted that you stole all kind of books. You admitted that you stole school books, went, stole books from people, went back and sold them in the bookstore. You admitted all of this. And you were able to get another opportunity. Right? 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 Gottlieb said in the aftermath when talking about his past transgressions, because remember, he still gets to be on TV. He gets to be this big announcer he gets to tell you guys about sit up there high and mighty and talk down on everybody else when this dude's a kleptomaniac thief you understand what i'm saying and he gets to say i don't think it's hurt me it says despite the statute of limitations that has long passed the credit card incident continues to weigh on gottliff a constant reminder in his mind i don't think it's hurt me gottliff told awful announcements brandon contest Again, if you want to use it against me, I'm sure it can be used against me. Well, guess what? I'm using it against you. Because you, sir, were guilty of felony theft. And you got off easy. You got off easy. You went to criminal court and you were found guilty. O.J. Simpson, sir, went to criminal court for the crimes that involved those two people and he was found innocent in your courtroom. You have no right, no right to go on your show. And, and Fox Sports, y'all need this dude needs to be fired immediately for those comments he made about him. Immediately fired. That was absolutely disgusting what this man said on those airwaves. This is a dude that has been given other opportunities in life after he should have been in jail. He should have been in jail. But you're going to sit up there on that show with a straight face. You're going to sit up there and you're going to say the things that you said today and disrespect a man who passed away and lost his life. And uh, Doug, you weren't there. I wasn't there. But the criminal justice system, he went through the justice system in a court of law. And the criminal justice system said he was not guilty of those crimes. If I was O.J. Simpson's family, I would sue your ass and Fox for liable sport of slander and defamation. Because what you said on them airways, you should be fired immediately. But I know you won't. Because like you said before, Doug, when you stole those credit cards and all those other things you stole that you didn't even get caught for. Remember those things you admitted? You admitted, Doug, that you stole those school books. This dude admitted that he stole all these school school books from other class, other students and went and sold them in the school bookstore to get money too. This kleptomaniac, and you, if you don't know what a kleptomaniac is, a kleptomaniac is a person who got money who don't have no reason to steal but do it just because. Just because. And your freedom of fake speech don't give you a right of slander because he went through your justice system. See, Doug Gottlieb, you, sir, admitted to your crime and you were found guilty, if I'm not mistaken, Doug Gottlieb, in a court of criminal law. 
OJ was found innocent in the court of criminal law. He was found liable in civil court, but he was found innocent of those crimes in a court of criminal law in your system. So what you say outside of that and what you have said, you should be sued for slander. You should be fired immediately. It was disgusting. And you out of all people, you are so, so, so judgmental of Kyrie Irving, Doug Gottlieb. But you, sir, you are a thief. You are in the LA Times. You were supposed to be a solid college basketball player, but you decided to become a theft and thief and steal from your classmates. That's what you did. You were all on the news. And they protected you and gave you other opportunities. Let you go be on TV. Let you be all over the radio. Let you be commentating games. This is all of the things that you have been able to do after you got caught stealing. Right? And you admitted it. You admitted to taking a credit card out of your friend's room. You admitted that out of your out of the other person's room when you're supposed to be studying. You admitted to going to buy those shoes and ringing it up, not thinking you was going to get caught and putting the credit card back. You admitted to stealing all those school books and going to the school store and selling all those books to get the money. This is the type of stuff that's going on, bro. And I'm giving y'all the PG version, the rated R version coming on the podcast show today. Because anybody like this who gets to get a platform and run this filth when a man has lost his life, it wasn't like he was found guilty in a court of law and was doing the rest of his life in prison because of those crimes. He was found not guilty. And Doug, you know something I never hear from you? Even though there was evidence in that trial presented against Mark Furman, I never hear you talk down on Mark Furman. There was tapes on Mark Furman. Tapes of the things Mark Furman was saying. I never heard you talk down on Mark Furman. He didn't even question Mark Furman. And a lot of you guys are too young to know what's going on. But I know what's going on. Doug Gottlieb needs to be fired immediately for that foolishness he ran over there on Fox. And Fox, for you guys to even upload that, it's disgusting. But we understand how y'all moving. That's disgusting. And I hope O.J. Simpson family sue you. Straight up. You are you are a kleptomaniac is what you were. You were a dude who had money and had no reason to steal, Doug Gottlieb. And you stole. You were on the cover of the L.A. Times for being a thief. And then you came out and admitted that you was privileged enough to don't think it didn't even hurt you, sir. That stealing incident. And then you admitted to stealing more stuff. Remember when you made that admission and you admitted to stealing all the other stuff you said you stole and got away with that nobody knew about? And you had fake apology and then you get mad at everybody when they bring it up? Remember when you was talking that trash about Kyrie Irving early this year? And everybody bought that foolishness that you did back up to yourself? And you got mad? And you went off on, on your viewers because they dare bought up your path, Doug Gottlieb? Remember that? Yeah, I remember, Dougie. I remember. See, it's you and other cats in the media that have brought a stain on the media, bro. And it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. And it's sickening and it's sad. And this is the reason why brothers don't believe in the justice system. I'm telling y'all this. Because you can go through the justice system 
get fat. We got brothers that's in prison right now that's innocent for crimes that have done 40, 50 years get out after they've been found not guilty due to whether his DNA came out later on, all this other stuff that they didn't have back then, all kind of stuff. Then you got dudes that get found innocent, but people presume that they're guilty. And guess what? They're screwed. OJ Simpson got found guilty and was blackballed from a lot of things. Even though he was found innocent. Even though he was found not guilty, OJ Simpson, after that trial, he was blackballed across. He couldn't even go in certain restaurants. Because people thought he was guilty. They didn't care about he went through the criminal justice system. But you, Doug, you were a admitted, self-admitted theft, thief, and a kleptomaniac, and you ain't have a problem going nowhere. Make it make sense. You were on the cover of the LA Times for being a thief. You have a problem going nowhere, Doug. Can nobody throw you out nowhere? Remember, you said it's out your own mouth. You don't think it hurt you. Because guess what you did that OJ didn't get to do? You got to go get a job as a job as a job, TV job, announcing job. This is all the stuff you got to do, playboy. And all you're going to do is get mad at all them people that pull up your hypocritical past, Doug Gottlieb, and say, oh, God, if you guys want to criticize me, no, 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 you should have shut your mouth. Because now they coming for your job now, brother. They coming for your job now because you crossed the line. And I hope O.J. Simpson family sue you for via, liable and slander. Because, again, in a criminal justice court system, the man was found not guilty. So what, what you think don't mean nothing. Because in a court of law, he was found not guilty. You, sir, Doug Gottlieb, you admitted to your crimes. You admitted that you were a thief and a kleptomaniac. People can Google you. All they got to do is put Doug Gottlieb in thief and Google and everything comes up. But you want to sit up there and disrespect a man that lost his life when you wasn't there to even know if he truly did it or not. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. You understand, Dougie? Because all have sinned, Dougie, and come short of the glory of God, brother. All have sinned, brother. Right? So you stealing your sin is still a sin, Dougie. You stole from innocent people. Innocent college students that was trying to get by and make a living. And you admitted you stole and you still got those big jobs. But you'll sit up here on your show and tear down a brother who got found not guilty in the justice system. So I hope O.J. Simpson's family sues Fox and I hope they sue Doug Gottlieb for slander. Because what he set up there and did was disgusting. When you, sir, are, are a thief and everybody should go over there and remind Doug Gottlieb about this. Well, Doug, you talking all this trash about O.J. Simpson. But you were a thief. You stole from college students. You are a kleptomaniac. You admitted that yourself. That you had a stealing problem. And you couldn't stop stealing and you did it for no reason. Because you had money. You had everything. And you still wanted to steal from people. But a lot of people didn't notice about you, Dougie. Because they didn't understand that they're not too young to know your history. So when you, the guy sit up there and run your mouth, and you got a guy like me, I remember all this stuff, brother. I remember you was at Oklahoma State. Cowboy. That's what y'all was playing for, right? The Oklahoma State Cowboys? When you were stealing? 
It's disgusting. It's disgusting. No, Doug didn't serve no time. Doug got off easy. Remember, and Doug, not only did he get off easy, y'all, hey, he bragged about it. He said, I don't think it's hurt me. He had, he went on to get all these other jobs, sports casting jobs, all of this stuff, all this time. A lot of the media hid this story about this dude for years. But then when he started running his mouth a few months ago about Kyrie Irving, and I did that video that went viral, pointing out his thieving past, everybody went to his channel onto that video and started cooking him and they went on his social media and started calling out his hypocrisy and then he got mad and went off online that's what he did oh why are you guys getting upset with me because they called out your hypocrisy disgusting and i told you guys this and this is the type if you go listen to that video he did it's disgusting if I'm O.J. Simpson's family, I'm suing him and Fox for slander and defamation of character because O.J. Simpson was found innocent in a criminal court of law. Period. And if you feel like, hey, it's some technicalities, nah, it wasn't no technicalities. We saw what happened with Mark Furman. Sat up there and lied. An officer of the court, or, excuse me, an officer of the law, sat up there and lied and got exposed. That's what happened. Ain't no technical. My bad, y'all. Somebody tried to call me. Like they always do during my show. Why you trying to call me during the show? Did it affect this dude getting a job? No. Didn't affect you, Dougie. Did it affect Doug Gottliff? Getting employment? Nah. He Yeah, he went to Notre Dame. And he transferred to Oklahoma uh, State Cowboys. Right? Did it affect him from playing basketball? Nope. He still got more chances. Or sit up there and run his mouth about about brothers all the time. I'm gonna talk about this on my podcast show. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the podcast show. We almost had three thousand subs. Patreon.com backslash ticket TV is the podcast show. The link gonna be pinned up at the top of the comments. Everybody needs to call Fox Sports and demand that Doug Gottlieb be fired for what he did. And to the person that was sitting up there talking about, oh, man, OJ got bound on technical. Nah, we found out what it really was. They got exposed. Mark Furman got exposed. That's what happened. And if you wasn't there, you don't really know what happened. So you leave it in the court of law. That's what you guys have the court of law for, right? A court of law, that's what you leave it there for. How many people did y'all know have went to jail where people said, oh, man, they did it, 100% they did it. 
and people served all this time in prison and then 30 years later after they don't gave their whole life to the prison system they found out they're innocent you know how many cases you can find out go to google right now and find out how many people did 30 or 40 years in a slammer and lost their lives because you had people around oh i know they did it i swear they did it they thought they did it and they didn't do it make it make sense if you wasn't there you don't really know all we can go by is what it was in the criminal court. And he was found innocent. How you feel is how you personally feel. But you can't definitively say somebody did something and you wasn't there. Doesn't mean anything. Civil is just liable. Civil is not criminal. So they can say, hey, man, we feel like you're liable for this, but that doesn't mean that you did it. Criminal is the criminal case. That's where they decide, hey, man, if you did this or not did this, period. So, again, now I'm just being honest with you. So, I'm just telling y'all what's up. And my condolences to all of the uh, the Goldman family and the other family. Shout out to Sean Blake and the Cash App. Salute to you, my brother. Uh, my condolences go to the Goldman family. And to the um to the to the Brown Simpson uh to the Brown family. You know? Don't nobody want to see nobody lose their life like that. I stand for what's right. You understand? And what Doug Gottlieb is doing is wrong. Especially when you're a guy who you've been on the LA Times for being a thief and a felon at that. Felony theft. But you sitting up here running your mouth about somebody else. Somebody else. Right? And so again, this is why I don't get into judging people in those type of situations like that. In public like that. Because again, you can think somebody did something and they fell not guilty. Maybe they didn't do it. We wasn't there. We was not there. But you know who know you know who who knows those people and the man upstairs. And one day all of us got to see that man upstairs. So you're not gonna escape the ultimate judge. If you did something. But as far as here on earth, in a court of criminal justice law, O.J. Simpson found not guilty. And Doug Gottlieb need to accept that because they went through his system. The same system that Doug Gottlieb went through admitted he was wrong and got second, third, and fourth chances. These are facts. Right? Disgusting. Go to the podcast show. I'll be there later on tonight talking about this. And it will be unfiltered and uncut tonight. Because I don't like this. This is nasty right here. Patreon.com backslash Ticket TV is the podcast show. We almost had 3,000 subscribers. He said, why we pretend like guilty people don't walk all the time? Why we pretend like innocent people don't walk all the time, Billy Bobby? Billy Bobby, what do you say about all the innocent people that have done 30, 40 years in prison? You don't care about them. You don't care about them. Right? You weren't there, Billy Bobby. I wasn't there. You don't know. You only know what was told to us. You really don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. But what I do know is, is that he went through the criminal, the United States of America criminal justice system. And was found not guilty on that. In criminal court. You weren't there. I wasn't there. That's all we know for a fact. What we also know. Is Mark Furman. And what happened with Mark Furman. We know that for a fact. We saw Mark Furman get on the stand and lie. 
And then we, we saw Mark Furman get exposed for lying. After saying he didn't. And this is the officer of the law. You don't care about that, Billy Bob? Billy Bobby, you don't care about the officer of the law that was lead a lead detective on this case lying under oath? You don't care about that? Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Right? Hey, man, that's cool. Hey, you got your opinion, uh, Billy Bobby. It's all good. I, hey, I'm not mad at you, however you feel, bro. I'm just telling you that we can't have a criminal justice system and then complain about, oh, well, we think he's guilty, but you got people that's that's innocent that have done all this time and don't nobody give a damn about them. They don't give up their whole lives for no reason because somebody misjudged them. Nah, we ain't finna go through that. Right? So, again, but my point about Doug Gottlieb is, is Doug Gottlieb is disgusting. How is you a dude that was found like, bro, you stole from people, felony st thefts. You were on the LA Times and you sitting up here talking about OJ Simpson and you were given second and third chances, Doug Gottlieb, and you admitted that it never, man, get out of here, bro. Get out of here, bro. Uh, Billy Bobby, again, bro, I'm not finna go through this, rehash this stuff with you again, bro. It was already tried in the court of law. Man was found innocent, bro. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it is what it is, bro. It's found innocent in, in criminal court of law. You know? So, but but I know who was found guilty of a felony type of charge. Doug Gottlieb. Dougie Gottlieb. And guess what? He got to be this big name on TV, all this stuff. Hey, go ask Doug Gottlieb how much jail time he did. And he admitted to doing that and stealing more. That's what Doug Gottlieb did. Doug Gottlieb admitted to doing that and stealing more. He admitted he was a kleptomaniac. I'll be on the podcast later tonight, man. Patreon.com backslash Ticket TV, bro. Y'all know what's up, man.